Welcome back. Today I will be talking to you about integration by parts. And so to start a conversation about integration by parts, it's nice to review something that we already know, and that is just the product rule for derivatives. So uh, let me write something down here, uh, just as a reminder, and that is that the derivative with respect to x of a function f of x times a function g of x is equal to, well, it's f of x times g prime of x plus f prime of x times g of x. Okay. So uh, this is something we're familiar with from calculus one. Uh, this is what we call the product rule. Okay, so what I wanna do is notice that I said that these two sides, those are equal. So that means that if I took the antiderivative of both sides of the equation, it would still be equal, okay? So let's take the antiderivative of this side and say then the integral of d dx of f of x times g of x dx is equal to, well, uh, remember if I take the integral of this whole side, it's the same as taking the integral, this is a sum, so it's the same as taking the integral of the first one plus the integral of the second one. So this is the integral of f of x times g prime of x dx plus, I'll move over here, the integral of f prime of x g of x dx. All right, so uh, I, all that I've done from the product rule is I took the antiderivative of both sides of the equation. All right, uh, notice right here that if I take the derivative of a function and then I take the antiderivative of that function, then I just get the original function, right? Possibly plus a constant, but there are so many antiderivatives floating around here, we only really need one constant. So I'm just gonna say that this is uh, f of x times g of x on the left side, and then on the right side I've got integral of f of x times g prime of x dx plus integral of f prime of x g of x dx. Okay, so the only thing I changed in this line is I took the antiderivative of a derivative and got f times g of x. Now what I wanna do is look at this guy right here, and I wanna solve the equation for this integral. So I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit and rewrite it, and notice I'm just using algebra to rewrite the equation, and what I get is that the integral of f of x times g prime of x dx is equal to f of x, times g of x minus the integral of f prime of x g of x dx. And the equation that I just wrote on the very bottom line, this is the equation that gives us our technique that we call integration by parts, okay? Uh, this is one way of writing the equation for integration by parts. There actually is another uh, way that I like to remember it when I'm thinking about integration by parts. This is just the functional way of thinking about integration by parts. Uh, the more practical way is this, uh, that the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. And when I think about integration by parts, I think of this formula. Really, it's the same thing. What we have here is the integral of a function times a derivative is equal to the first function times the second function minus the integral of a derivative, which is combined with the dx, times a function. So uh, 
This is the substitution that we're going to use in order to use integration by parts. What we're trying to do is when we look at the original integral, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, there's a piece of this integral that I know the derivative of. I know f prime of x. And there's a piece of the integral that I know the antiderivative of. So the piece that I know the derivative of, I'm going to call u. The piece that I know the antiderivative of, I'm going to call dv. Then I'm going to compute what is v and what is du, plug things in, and then hopefully over here, this is an integral that I can evaluate. All right, so now it's time to do some examples, take a look at the example problems that I've done, and get a better feel for how this works.